Giordano Dance Chicago. I've been assistant artistic director for about five years. Before that, I was rehearsal director. Nan and Mr. Gus and myself go way, 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 way back. And the beauty of that is I get to work with some professionals in the morning, and then I come to work with these kids in the afternoon or at night. That's great. And Nan is so generous. She's given some of my girls scholarships. Uh, and they have had their eyes open. I got two of them want to be Giordano dancers right now, you know, but they're still in school. So, like, okay, that's what your dream is. Nan likes people to go to college. Nan likes people to get an education. Nan likes people to be mature. <laughs> so, I feed that to them all the time, you know, but Nan is amazing. Her dad, Gus, was amazing. Nan is just as amazing. Gus saw me perform someplace and or taught, I went up and did a guest teaching, and I left him a card. And Nan was cleaning out. And on the back of the card, Gus had put, we need to work with this guy. This is a good guy. <laughs> Years later, Nan showed me that card, okay, when Gus is still alive. And when he passed away, she still had the card. So when Gus was alive, I was still working with him, you know, he passed. Actually, when Gus passed, I was in Hawaii with the company. He was very ill and Nan could not go. She said, you have to be in charge. And on the plane, I got the message that Gus had passed. So I'm sitting there with the dancers and my brain is saying, when do I tell these kids that Gus passed away? And I think a tear trickled down my eye because one of the guys asked me if I was okay. And I realized I was crying. And I said, yeah, I'm cool. I'm just thinking about my grandfather. <laughs> But when we got off the plane, I pulled them over in the corner after we got our baggage, and I told them. And they were bawling, and I mean, I think folks passing by thought I had just probably finished beating all of them or something, because they were really upset. But I said, you know what? We're here, and we're going to toss this up to Gus. And every night we had a standing ovation. One or two of us went out and talked about Gus and thought that he had, you know, talk, said that he had passed through. But I mean, that was, it was so healing to, to the dance because we would go by the water and, you know, do a sun salute and all this. You know, we do some wonderful things. But it was, it was really powerful. It was powerful. Nan was so, so pleased, you know. So, yeah.